Yo, what's up, Atlanta? First, I want to thank Black History Month the Parade. Black History Month Parade theme for having me here. Um, this is such a pleasure because, you know, growing up in Jamaica, I grew up in a small neighborhood that was, I mean, you hear gunshots a lot of times, and, you know, I always think about. You know, my mom being poor and everything, I always think about what it would be like to be in the U.S. We call it foreign back home. What it would be like going to Disney World. Like, it was a dream, a fantasy. You know, I want to go to America. You know, like coming to America. <laughs> and so, I decided that, you know, I have to do something spectacular because I don't have anybody selling for me. You know, I don't have any money. How is it that I'm gonna to reach to America? So, you know, I was a runner then. You know, Jamaica is the sprinting capital of the world. So from I was two, I was competing. So I decided that I'm gonna be maybe be a track star and then somebody will, you know, discover me and I'll come to college, but that didn't work. I ran into this coach when I was coming from a track meet and he was from Oklahoma and he's like, you're tall, you can run, you're athletic. You want to play basketball for the college? I said, huh? He said, I give you a scholarship. Now, people, I do not know what basketball was at the time. But he said, scholarship, I said, yes. I want to come to America and play basketball. Now, you know, I didn't know the process was so tough, you know? So I just start working really hard every day trying to get my abilities to where it was, so I can say, hey, you know, he, he won't change his mind, you know, I start. So all this time, now I don't have no basketball shoes. I don't have any, I don't have, I don't even know what, what it take, you know, to get to that position, but I knew that there was a coach there willing to work with me at Jamaican coach. So every day after school, I go there just to train. It was so tough in the hot sun, just working every day in that hot sun without no shoes on, saying I gotta go to America because I'm poor, gotta help my mom. So eventually I got the scholarship and guess where I ended up? Oklahoma. And I'm there, this is not the America I see. I'm in Seminole, Oklahoma with cowboys and Indians. I'm like, where is Disney World? As a matter of fact, when the first snow started, when it first started getting cold, you know, Jamaica, I didn't know that outside would be colder than my refrigerator back home. And I step out, and I was like, Jesus, this ain't real. This is too cold. But I knew that I can't go back, so I started to practice very hard. But one of the things I want to say about that is that while I was there in Seminole, Oklahoma, at the junior college, I went there first because he said that I could get more practice and then I come to the University of Oklahoma. So while I was there, you know, I run into my, you know, I was talking to my teammate. You know, back home it's more about, you know, um, classism. And they were talking about, you know, I started American history. But then I start talking to them and they have a different history. And it's so different in what you're learning in the school and then you're hearing from somebody of their history. And it was so interesting. But what I want to talk about is just how the progress, because we all, it doesn't matter, you know, if it's Jamaica or if it's, you know, African American or wherever we're from, you know, we all have that, you know, we all have these ancestors who have worked so hard to make things better for us. You know, and we have to continue to work this hard for the next generation, and that next generation have to keep on, um, keep on working hard for the next generation, and that's how we will progress. But that first year while I was in junior college just training, and I was like, okay, I need to do something spectacular because, again, I want to keep on selling and get into the next level of the game. And after that first year, I must say, I went to the coach office and he said, Simone, you're all American. I said, Coach, you got it wrong. I'm all Jamaican. You got to change that. I can't go back to Jamaica with this plaque saying I'm all American. They're going to say, you're, you're not, you're not American. You're Jamaican.